what is up guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the Havoc OS 2.0 based on Android Pie on the Redmi Note 3 and this is an unofficial build well if you want to install this ROM I would say only install it if you want stock Android -ish experience and over that you want customizations well this is running on Android Pie again and if you see the corners over here as you can see these are rounded corners over here if you open up any app you will see as you can see and we have this like the navigation gesture android pie navigation gesture button over here as you can see and it does this if you open multiple apps let me just show you by opening up some of the apps As you can see, if I do this, it switches between apps as you can see and it's pretty fast as you can see, pretty fast stuff and you can use this button as the navigation gesture over here of Android Pie and this is running super fine and if you want to flash this ROM, I would say the flashing procedure is really really simple. I will link all the like important links of ROM file, gapps in the description box below so don't worry. And to flash this ROM, you just need to have unlocked bootloader, you need to have official latest TWR build recovery installed, and you need to flash the ROM file and the GApps file and just reboot. And if you want to flash Magisk, just flash Magisk 17 I guess, or I think the latest version of Magisk is 17 for Android Pie, so flash that one. So yeah, I did not flash Magisk, I am just using the ROM as stock as it is. And Vaulty is working super fine if you have noticed over here it shows this device is Vaulty capable but my Vaulty sim is on the sim slot 1 not on the sim slot 2 I did not check if the sim slot 2 Vaulty is working fine or not so yeah that's that and I have been using it for a couple of hours now and the RAM management is really really good I don't have any complaints over here regarding the RAM management as you can see all the apps are in, in memory as you can see and GC Mod 5 is working super fine in this ROM let me just show you as you can see GC Mod 5 works super fine but it's a little bit laggy maybe but yeah it's working and if you talk about customizations I'll show that to you later on but first of all let me show you the quick settings panel over here as you can see Android Pie quick settings panel and you can add more stuff by just one tapping them as you can see You can disable heads up night light is working fine as you can see and if you go into settings system about phone android version as you can see android version is 9 and it does this let me go back and the build number as you can see is it's based on pre-release 1 of android pi and as you can see this is the 4th september 2018 build and this is still unofficial i'm saying it again security patch is still of august and in the future updates we may see a lot of more customizations and all the customizations of this rom is inside this havoc settings let me just show you over here we have the status bar at first we have double tap to sleep and brightness control let me just show you as you can see status bar brightness control is there and works super fine so you don't need to worry about anything and double tap to sleep on the status bar does work as you can see and we have battery icon style and as you can see i have customized the battery icon to be like circle so let's go back we have network traffic over here if you want that i use the internet speed meter app so i did not enable it and status bar icons we have the headset icon which was not present in pixel experience rom and if you don't like the pure stock android feel and you want customizations you should definitely try this rom as of now in quick settings well you can add like the small tiles you can decrease the item numbers if you decrease it over here as you can see we have five tiles over here if we just decrease it more let me just show you four tiles and you can like 
go all the way up to eight as you can see we have eight toggles like really quick stuff and you can just set it to default if you want to inside interface we have some dashboard customizations ambient display is there but i did not check it advanced display we have smart pixels over here if you want that and from buttons you can like have volume panel customizations and we have the android pie volume panels as you can see and go back inside power menu we have advanced reboot let me just show you here we have the advanced reboot if i just tap on it as you can see you can directly go into recovery or fast boot so yeah that's that let me just go back you can disable the hardware keys from here as you can see i disabled it because i'm using this home slide up gesture so yeah it's working super fine as you can see this is just smooth and if you open an app and rotate the phone like this it will show you this rotation stuff of android pie and you can just tap on it so that even if your rotation is locked like even if your rotation is switched off it will show you this rotation stuff as you can see and if you tap on it your rotation of the screen will still be off but the app will rotate in landscape or portrait depending on whichever rotation mode you are on so yeah that's a cool thing and in terms of battery life if you talk about well i would say the battery life should be like very similar to the pixel experience rom which i did a video earlier which i'll link in the cards right here so the battery life is pretty similar to that and in terms of gaming performance it's pretty similar to that pixel experience rom too because it's from the same developer who is the stretch huge thanks to the developer for developing these roms for redmi note 3 and this is the reason why we have like these kind of amazing android pie roms on the redmi note 3 so huge thanks to the developer and one feature that i haven't found yet power button long press for the torch functionality which is not present here but i think this is gonna be added in the future updates and over here if you allow this navigation bar it will allow by default this gesture stuff so that's that and inside gestures we have system gesture we have this swipe up stuff so yeah let me just go back uh, swipe to screenshot this three finger swipe to screenshot is there as you can see it's working fine on top of android pie inside lock screen we have double tap to sleep on the lock screen and we have media cover art showing stuff face auto unlock is there and works super fine and you can enable this always fingerprint unlock stuff even after you reboot it will ask you just for the fingerprint so that's that and lock screen charging info is there so pretty much most of the customizations that you will need is present over here so i'm really liking it so inside recents we have this clear all button stuff but i don't know it's not gonna work as of now as there is no clear all button if you want to clear all the apps you have to go over here all the way up so that's that it doesn't work really so let me just go back notifications we have the notification led customizations and the notification led does work heads up over here as you can see you can visible heads up vibrate on connect in call vibration customizations i would say let me just go back animations we have the screen off animation as you can see i have the crt screen on animation over here and you can set it to simple fade color fade scale etc you can change system animations if you want to and you can even change quick setting toggles customization and you can even change the quick setting panel toggles animation flip or rotate so that's a great thing let me just go back inside system we have show cpu info not really needed ime settings is there and inside miscellaneous you can disable this wake up on charge thing and inside battery saving well there are some sensor block per package thing so yeah those are all the customizations now let me show you the boot animation like the booting up animation this is just cool and while it's booting up let me tell you that while i was setting up the phone i mean i was restoring the google drive backup of my app data and stuff 
it was showing me like this which looks pretty cool and it did pretty well everything got backed up pretty easily i thought it will full stop or it won't back up but it did so yeah that's great as you can see the boot animations looks amazing i think this would be the havoc os 2.0 boot animation so yeah and as you can see after booting up you don't have to set up like the bug is not there so yeah that's great in terms of the wallpaper i'm using the pixie wall wallpaper i'll link the wallpaper app in the description box below and one more thing i what i would say is as of now play store still shows the device as uncertified and if you open google pay let me just show you it shows that google pay can't be used on this device so which is a bit unfortunate but we are running on android pi you have to keep in mind and i think if you install like magisk you can use magisk hide for google pay so i think that can work so yeah that's pretty much it that's what i had to say for this video guys thanks so much for watching and this is tito from kd and tech signing off subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and like this video if you liked it share this video with your friends if you feel like it so this has been it and i will see you in the next one bye bye now